Hey guys, it's Rob here and I'm back with your second part of your turtle tutorial. So we're going to go through defining a function step by step. So let's say we wanted to find the function as circles. Okay, so what we're going to do, first, first step, the def keyword used to define a function. We're going to call it circles. And it's going to take those parameters that uh, we mentioned before. So if I could just, let me just X out of these things here just so I could show you. Okay, define circles, and in here we're going to have T for the turtle. We're going to have size for the size of the circles, num for the number of circles drawn, and we're going to also have space for the space between the circles. Now, don't forget your colon here, guys. It's very important. Okay, so now what we want to go, now what we want to do, oh, I keep, every time I save it, it jumps me down a line. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go for not for, for i in range num. Okay? So basically, we want to execute this the number of times, right? Uh, uh, a, a variable number of times, you know, depending on what our num parameter or given argument is. Uh, one clarification up here right now in the function definition, these are called parameters. So t is a parameter, size is a parameter, num is a parameter, space is a parameter. When you're actually making the function call, as we'll see later on, these things are referred to as arguments. That's just a subtle distinction that it's important to know as a programmer for some just key terminology. So now that we have this, we're going to go, remember, make no assumption about the state or orientation of the turtle. That just means t dot pen down. So that's, that's really what we're going to do there, guys. And now we're going to go back drawing this circle. So we're going to go t dot circle. And we want to make a circle the size of size. Okay, so now we put the pen down. We've made the circle. And now we're going to move the space. So now we would go t dot pen up. Right? Everyone with me so far? Then you have t dot forward. And you're going to go forward space. Right, guys? So now basically, if I could draw this out for you really quick. Basically, what we've done so far... In this for i in range num, we've put the pen down. Once we put that pen down, we've drawn a circle. Right? Boom. Pick the pen up. We've gone forward a certain number of space. Now what do we got to do next? Well, if you said draw the circle, you're wrong. First we have to put the pen down. Then we have to draw the circle. So that's the next step. We're going to go t dot pen down. There we go. And... Oh, whoops. Actually, we're done here because our for loop, okay, for i in range num, is going to just go through like this because we've already written the code. You see, so when it goes through the second iteration, t dot pen down, t dot circle, t dot pen up, t dot forward. So we've effectively solved the question. Now, there's going to be probably, you know, normally on some of these practice exams and exams, there's a part B, which is call your function. So, first thing to do, we're going to import turtle. That's the first order of business. Next, we're going to go t equal, equals turtle dot turtle. Don't forget your parentheses here. S equals turtle dot screen. Okay. And now we're going to call circles. We're going to go t. I want each circle to be of size 50. I want the number of circles to be 6, and I want the space between the circles to be 80 pixels. Alright guys, so we made our function call there. We're going to save this up, we're going to run it, and if we did this correctly... Okay. Now, what's the reason that these circles are overlapping? Well, it's all based on the dimensions that we gave it. I'm going to change the circle size now to size 10. And I want size 100 spacing between them. And now if we run this again, guys, this should be a lot cleaner. Okay. And that's, yeah, 5, but then what you don't see over here is number 6. There's number 6, and there's your turtle. Reset in its position. And uh, that's about all we have time to cover in this tutorial, guys. But I'm going to do one more, just breaking down this code, making sure you fully understand the concept. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.